This is probably the quickest and easiest lash application at home that I have ever tried. Not only that, but these are also the most long-lasting lashes I've ever tried. I have showered, slept, taken a bath, and these stayed on perfectly for 24 hours hours. Now this is going to sound like a sponsored video. It's not. I wish they would sponsor me. They can pay me in lashes. I'll be very happy with that because I'm actually really surprised how much I love these lashes. These are the Kiss in Press, Press On Falsies, and I was at the launch in Cork, and I usually don't go to events because my illness is so bad, but I wanted to because I love Kiss, so I saved up all my spoons, and I had the loveliest time. Everybody was so sweet, and they actually even made sure I was by the door in case I needed to leave, and Davey was also in the lobby waiting for me the whole night. But honestly, I was very skeptical that I was even going to like these, especially because it says that they don't use glue and also they're supposed to last 24 hours. I just didn't think it was possible. I did instantly like the tweezers and I thought maybe that's all I was going to end up loafing from this, but they really impressed me. You see those five lines? Those are the pre-bonded lines, which basically means they're just sticky. But because of the placement of these lines and the fact that they are both sturdy and flexible means they have excellent hold, they stay in place longer than any lashes I've ever used. These are placed underneath and pressed upwards, but they're also very easy to remove. You basically just pinch and glide down and they don't seem to affect the stickiness. Somehow they're still sticky. I think we're going to see more and more lashes like this and they're going to basically take over the world of lashes. I really want to try some of their other lash lengths. These ones are the more fuller glam ones, but I want to try some of the shorter ones, particularly for my mature friends, because a lot of you would want more definition than length so I'm excited to try some of the smaller ones pick those ones up so I can try them on my mom because I think she's gonna really love these you get 20 in a pack and I used about four on each eye and they stayed in place until I removed them so how do you apply them for beginners I think these are going to be really easy for you I'm going to go into a lot more detail so that you can actually try this out even if you've never tried eyelashes before but for anybody who's already applied lashes a few times you will be able to apply these in seconds but for beginners these are some tips for you. Firstly, you want to tilt your head back a little bit and this will just open up this space and allow you to see what you're doing. Next, if you can, raise your eyebrows. This is going to tighten this area and give you a little bit more control. Then what I want you to do is pick a point in the mirror and hold this position while you're applying. This is going to stop your eyes from flickering all over the place. Now, before you do anything, I want you to play around with the tweezers and get comfortable with them first. So gently clamp along the lash line, hold the tweezers like higher up, lower down on the handle. Just get a little bit more comfortable with how you're going to hold them, the pressure and the grip that you have of them. Okay, now you're ready to take out one of the lashes and I want you to hold it in the middle. So just below the pre-bonded lines or maybe even where the curve of the lash is. We're going to start on the outer edge of the eye. I also didn't apply any mascara. If you want to apply mascara, that's totally fine, but you also want to make sure that your mascara is totally dry before you continue. So we have our lash, we're tilting our head back, eyebrows up, eyes fixed in a particular position, and we're just going to bring that lash up until it catches the outer edge of your natural lashes. Now it should hold a little right away because it's kind of sticky. Then all you want to do is to tap it into position with a closed tweezer. Now for beginners, I always recommend doing a nice close or blink just to relax the eyes at this point. So relax your eyes, open them, and then what you can do is open the tweezers and squeeze them right at the lash line just in the same way that you were practicing earlier. Another thing that you can do is press the lid to expose the lash line a little bit more for you and very carefully squeeze. And then you just repeat the same process. As you can see, I'm placing it really close to the previous one, as close as I can get it. Now, once you have your first two on, you can leave it here and have a foxy open cat eye kind of effect, or you can keep applying. Now I've kind of judged it that I'm going to be applying four to complete this look, but I'm going to skip to the inner corner so that I have a little bit more control and I can judge the distance that I have. The inner corner of your eye is very ticklish. 
So even a little flutter can be enough to make you sneeze. So what you want to do is make sure that you're not bringing those lashes too far to the inner corner of the eye. So I could continue applying one, two, three, four to get to the inner corner, but I may end up running out of room and then that inner lash is going to be far too close to my eye and it's going to start to irritate my eye. So by skipping to the inner corner now, I have a little bit more control over the placement of this inner lash. Then the middle one that's going to join them all up together can kind of overlap if it needs to. And then all you want to do is bridge the gap between that inner one and your two outer ones by putting a lash in the middle and it is that easy. One, two, three, four. A full strip of lashes, and this takes about the third of the time that a full strip would take for me to apply. And these feel so lightweight, they feel very comfortable. My upper waterline isn't being touched, so there's no irritation, and they just look great at the roots. Now, if you want to, you can take your eyelash curler and just do a very gentle, careful squeeze. This is just going to create more of a uniformal curve, but you don't necessarily have to do this because these lashes do hold their shape really well. I curled my lashes maybe about 12 hours after I wore them just because I wanted to put my glasses on and I didn't want them to be touching my lenses. So by giving a very gentle squeeze, you're just going to push the curve back a little bit and it just keeps them held in their nice shape. I'll be honest, I've never liked pre-bonded lashes, but these are something special. I love how quickly my lashes are applied and how long lasting they are and how comfortable they are as well. So let me know, have you tried these? Will you be trying these? And if you do struggle with applications, as always, you can let me know. I can go into a little bit more detail for you. And I'm so excited to show my mom these. I think these are going to be great for her. She's going to be able to apply them herself self, which she's going to love. I'm probably going to get her the shorter volume ones because I like those on more mature eyes. They just add more definition. And I'm super excited to finally have a new makeup toy that I can play around with. It has been a while since I've got this excited over a new product. And as always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you in the next one.